to pray this morning and thank him for another day. Thank him for his goodness, his kindness, his love, and his compassion. He has been faithful unto us. We serve a good God, and it's good to see each and every one of you this morning. We thank God for you. Pray that you had a good last week, starting up another week. We thank God for this. Amen. Amen. So let us worship him. We thank God for those who may be watching by Facebook. We thank God for each one of you and just asking God to bless this day, which he's already blessed because we opened our eyes this morning, didn't we? Amen. 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 So let, let's worship God in spirit and in truth this morning. Amen. I will trust.
have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting of nothing. If you, if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, that give it to all men liberally, and upbraid it not, and it should be given to him. May God bless the reading of his word for the good and edification of our soul. Amen. Thank you. 
as we know how. We come this morning, Father God, because you are our Father. We come and call it on you this morning because I need your help this morning. Praying right now, Father, that I would decrease and that you would increase my life. Speak through me this morning. Have your way, Holy Spirit. In every heart, have your way right now, Father. Lord, because without you, we can't make it. So Holy Spirit, have your way right now. Ask that our hearts be receptive this morning. Yes. Bless us with receptive hearts. Help us to practice your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I would like to invite your attention to a very well-known scripture. A very well-known scripture. The 100 number of Psalms. The 100 number of Psalms. number of songs. I'll read it, read it in its entirety. 100 number of songs. I'm reading from the King James Version. It says, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and to his court with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endure to all generations. Amen. We want to talk this morning from this question. Will you still worship? Will you still worship? Uh, Webster describes Worship is to honor or show reverence for a divine or supernatural power. If you have been saved, you wouldn't have to wonder who I'm talking about when I say, will you still worship? Because every believer know that God is the one that we worship. And for y'all that, that, that's unbelievers that have been saved, we're talking about God. Uh, he's not some idol. He's not the gods that we make of him. Yeah. What am I talking about? I'm talking about he's not. He's not your bank account. He's not your job. Your God is not your spouse nor your children, nor anything that you possess is not your God, if you are a child of God. It is our Heavenly Father that is our God. And, and when, when, when we talk about worship, it ought to be excitement when we worship. How, how many of you have been to a concert? Uh, uh, you, uh, and when your favorite uh, entertainer came out there was excitement there was screaming sometimes screaming the name yeah. of that entertainer yeah, right. I, I, I know all of us been to a concert or been somewhere or you have a, a, your favorite athlete when you get into the sports arena you make all kind of noise but I'm asking you will you worship Will you still worship? Yes, sir. 
in the midst of everything that's going on in the world right today. Uh, as we know that we, 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 we're going through this pandemic, will you, will you still worship? Uh, when there's injustice, will you still worship? When you're not getting what you fairly deserve, will you still worship? Will you still worship? But the psalmist tells us, in a, it's a call to worship in verse 1 and 2. It, it, it says, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. If you can make a joyful noise in those arenas, how about when you come to the house of God? Can you make a joyful noise when you come to the house of God? Are you excited this morning? Well, if you're not, I, I tell you, you ought to be excited yeah. this morning. Yeah. Because as I said, the Lord woke us up this yeah. morning. Yeah. The Lord brought us to another week. I may have went through some things on last week, but he still brought me. Yeah. Even when I wasn't doing work, right, he still brought me. Yeah. Yeah. Will you still worship? Yeah. Right. He inhabits the praise uh. of his people. Yeah. He said, make a joy for no one. Meaning that you ought to shout with joy. And, and, this, and this wasn't only to Israel, but he said all land, meaning that all nations ought to make a joyful noise to the Lord. All right. Oh, when I look around and see how beautiful he is, uh, that, that ought to make me to make a joyful noise. Uh, are the psalmist, we, we, he says that we have many reasons to, to, to make a joyful noise, to worship God, to praise God. Yes. Have you ever been sick and he healed your body? Yes. Yes, you can make a joyful noise this morning. Yes. Right. Don't hold back your praise. Just to get an offer from the Creator to make a joyful noise. And, it, 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 and another thing I, I want to I want I want to share with you, you know when you you went to see those entertainers and those athletes, uh, didn't you have to pay? Yeah. You had to pay, and still wasn't directly in their presence. Right. Right. But you know what? Uh, we serve a God that we don't have to pay anything right. to be in His presence, because He's everywhere at the same time. And even when you go to those uh, uh, local gatherings, yeah. that, 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 that athlete, uh, 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 that entertainer may not perform to your, your liking. You, you walk away side and wasted my money. <laughs> or if it's counseling, you're upset, you sad because you can't yeah. hear your favorite entertainer or see your favorite athlete. But look at God. As I said, I can just look around. Look at his mighty works. Yeah. Didn't have to pay anything. Yeah. And I'm not upset. Yeah. I can smile when the sunshine is out. I can smile when it's a rainy day. Because the Lord keep on keeping us. Yeah. Oh, I can worship because the Lord is good. Then he says in verse 2, serve the Lord with gladness. When we say learn, when we say serve, when we say serve, that means to labor, to work. Anything you do, and you ought to do it with gladness, with joy. Because, first of all, look, God gave you the strength to do whatever it is that you're doing. If you're usher, go ahead and be joyful. If you're singing in the choir, be joyful. If you're deacon, be joyful. If you're preacher, be joyful. If you're just a member sitting in the pew, be joyful. Because God has allowed you the help and the strength. God has given you the ability to move. God has given you the ability and given you a voice to sing. We know the psalmist is talking about making a joyful noise to the Lord. In other words, singing because of his goodness, yeah. his kindness, his compassion, his grace, his mercy. Yeah. Yes, oh, you can sing. Yeah. You can sing. He said, come before his presence with sing. Meaning that we ought to be saved. Oh, I 
know I can't sing. I know I, I, I know I, I, I don't got the right tune to sing. But still, I can sing. I may not remember the words to song, but I can put them together and make up my own song because it's for the Lord. It ain't for me. It's for the Lord. I'm singing to the Lord. I may miss a word every now and then. I, I may not know the whole song, but I, I can sing that portion that I knew that I know and still give him praise and worship. Mm. Mm. Ain't the Lord good? Yeah. We ought to be singing to the Lord. Every day you open our eyes, we, we ought to sing to him. Yeah, you can sing to the Lord. Uh, he's not looking for the, 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 the nicest voice. He's just looking for somebody that's going to worship him in spirit and in truth. And he said, to, to, to tell you the truth, uh, everybody that sounds good may not be meaning it from the heart. Somebody that's trying may be meaning it from their heart. Well, you still worship in the midst of everything that's going on. Yeah, we, we have to worship him because he is God. Verse 3 tells us the reason why we worship. It says, know ye that the Lord, he is God. Uh, you have to understand that there is no other gods. It's only one God, one true and living God. Uh, 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 and, and, and John chapter 1 says in the beginning John chapter 1 verse 1 he said in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God we, we serve only one God God the Father God the Son and God the Holy Spirit yeah there's not three gods but one with distinct personalities. Yeah. He goes on in that verse. And, 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 and in that third verse. And he tells us. The song says that. Blow wind blow. But it's alright. He says that. It is he. That had made us. That's another reason. To praise God. Because he is the creator. Of all things. Yeah. And we find in Genesis. It said in the beginning. God created the heavens and the earth. That's right, God. He created all things. There was nothing that was made. That was not made by him. You and I. We don't own ourselves. He is our creator. He has made us. He made us. Uh, the psalmist in uh, Psalms 119, he says, Thy hands have made me and fashioned me. Yeah. Meaning that God has made you, so you ought to go ahead and just worship him. Yeah. Give him all the praise, the honor, and the glory. And he also in Psalms 139 and 14, I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works, and that my soul knoweth right well. And then you have the Apostle Paul coming in Ephesians chapter 2. And he tell, he says this, for we are his workmanship. For in other words, we are his creation, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God had before ordained that we should walk in them. So in other words, he has created us for good works. We are his a workmanship. That, 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 if, he, if he has created you, you ought to be doing good works. What are you talking about good works, preacher? Well, uh, he tells us and he commands us that we ought to love one another. If I can love you and you love me, we can do good works towards one another. I will not bad mouth you. You ought not bad mouth me. You ought not stab me in my back. I ought not stab you in your back. We can still worship even if you don't sing my song. Even if I don't get to lead the song. You ought to still worship. Too many times we are allow things to, 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 to disturb and interrupt our worship. God calls us to worship Him. 
He didn't save you just to be saved. He saved you that you could do those good works. That you can love one another. That we can walk together in unity. Yeah. Not only that in verse 3 he says we are his people. We are the sheep of his pasture. So that lets me know that he is our shepherd as well. Yeah. And a shepherd protects his sheep. God provides for his people. David said in Psalm 23, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still water. He restored my soul. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou with me, thy rod and thy staff, I comfort me. He, prepare, he prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. He anoints my head with oil, my cup running over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. So he is a shepherd. He knows just how to lead you and guide you. He knows just where to pull you over and you get, let you get a little rest every now and then. When danger's all around you, he's right there. Don't you know he's more than the whole world against you? Yeah, he's your shepherd. That's another reason uh, that you ought to worship. Uh, I, I know everything may not look good in your life, but still you got a reason to worship because you got breath in your body. Oh, tomorrow may be a better day. Next week may be better. Next month may be better. But if you keep on trusting God, things have no choice but to get better. Yeah, he he goes on in verse 4, another call. He said, enter into his gates with thanksgiving. And it's in, into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. Yeah. Well, Back then, in the biblical time when there was kings ruling, that that, that that was a temple that they went into to to to, to give thanksgiving. But 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 today we we don't have any uh, uh, temples or kingdom that we go into. God just wants us to enter into His presence, enter into His presence with thanksgiving. Thank Him. For things as well as they are. Thank him for health and strength. Thank him for the money in your pocket. Thank him for being clothed in the right mind. Thank him for a home that you can go in. Thank him for a vehicle to drive. Thank him for everything you got. Because I realize there's somebody somewhere that's lacking. That's why we all not take these things for granted. Uh, I, I thank God we may not be inside the building, but still yet we can worship him right out here on this parking lot. Because see, God is God on the outside of the building just as well as he's God on the inside of the building. If he's in your heart, you ought to go ahead and worship him. Mm. Stop letting things distract you. From worship. Stop letting people distract you from worship. Sometimes we have a habit of allowing things to interrupt our worship with our Creator. He has told us to, to come into His presence. Are you in His presence today? Uh, see, just because you show up to church every Sunday and Bible study, don't mean that you truly worship Him. Some people come to see what you're wearing, to see what you look like. Some people come to talk about you. Some people come to put you down. But I want you to know you can worship the Lord still. With enemies all around you. Just make sure your worship is real. We don't come just to come. I don't care if you, you having a bad day, come on. 
come on and worship. Before you know it, God will turn that thing around. You talking about joy. Joy, unspeakable joy. Oh, relationship may not be going right, but go ahead and worship. All oh, bills may to be due, but go ahead and worship the Lord. All oh, family might have turned their back on you, but go ahead and worship the Lord. Oh, there's a pandemic, but go ahead and worship the Lord. Oh, there's injustice in this country, and this is supposed to be one of the best countries you can live in. But let me tell you something, we got problems right now. But go ahead and worship him. Worship the Lord. He's worthy. He's worthy. Oh, death may come to a family member. But go ahead and worship the Lord. Because I realize that we're only passing through here. We only got a little while here. But if we trust God, we got eternity over there. All your body racking in pain. But go ahead and worship. Because one of these old days, there'll be no more suffering. No more pain. No more tears to shed. And when we get out there, if we shed any tears, it's tears of joy. Because we behold our Savior. Go ahead and worship. 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 Go ahead and worship. It says, bless his name. You know that the Lord done done something for you. You know that he done done something for you. I just told you, if you're sick, he healed you. Even if you're sick right now, he can still heal you if that's his desire, desire to heal you. Because if he don't desire, if he don't heal you on this side, he's going to heal you on the other side. Do I have a witness to one that know without a shadow of doubt that he'll make everything all right over on the other side? This is for the Lord is good. Then the song said, taste and see that the Lord is good. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. When you come into a relationship with the Lord and, 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 and you, you, you find out that, that he is good. He is good. I didn't deserve to wake up this morning because I've done everything right. Because along the way I messed up. Along the way I messed up. Along the way I said some things I shouldn't have said. Along the way I thought some things I shouldn't have thought. Along the way, I didn't spend time in the Word. I, I didn't spend time in prayer. But the Lord is good. Yes, sir. If we would be honest with ourselves, sometimes, sometimes we, we lay down and we don't thank God for the day. We don't thank him for keeping us. And sometimes we wake up in the morning and, and, and we 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 on our way. We don't tell him thank you for waking me up. Just be honest with yourself. Because every morning you wake up, you don't tell God thank you. Because we have so many things on our mind. For the Lord is good. He's good. I didn't deserve to be standing up here this morning. But the Lord is good. He's good. Yeah, he, he, he's faithful when we're not faithful. He's loving when we're not loving. He's kind when we're not kind. He's compassionate when we're not compassionate. Even when we do wrong, the Lord still loves us. Oh, friends will turn their back on you when you've done them wrong. Family will turn their back on you when you've done them wrong. Yeah, but we serve a God who won't turn his back on us. 
He's still here calling us uh, to come into his presence. Uh, he's still here calling us uh, that we can ask for forgiveness. Uh, it says that his uh, mercy is everlasting and his truth endure to all generations. Uh, oh, from the beginning of time, uh, God has shown mercy. Oh, he showed mercy to Adam, uh, Abraham, Moses, Isaac, and Jacob. All the way down through 2020, he's shown mercy. He's a merciful God. Do you know he's a merciful God? It says that his truth uh, endures to all generations. The generation before, the generation after, he is truth. Uh, what is truth? Well, uh, I call truth this. There was a man uh, by the name name of Jesus. They marched him up to Galgotha Hill where they put nails in his hands, nails in his feet. Didn't they do it? Didn't they do it? They lifted him up between the heavens and the earth and he said if I be lifted up between the heavens and the earth I'll draw all men up to me. Didn't he a good God? Didn't he a good God? Look at young love. He hung there for you and for me. All our messed up ways, all our simple ways, all our bad words, all our bad thoughts. He did that for us. He's a good God. He's a good God. And they tell me that he died. He died. Yes, he died. He died. That's all right. They took him down. Took him in a borrowed tomb. But that's all right. But why early? Why early? He's a good God. Yes, he is. I can bless his name. Yes, I can. Yes, he's good. He's my creator. He's my keeper. He's my sustainer. He's the Lord good. Do you know he's good? Say that true. Do you know he's good? I know he's good. He's a good to a wretch like me. He's good right now. He's a breath in my body. Everything you need, no matter what you're going through, if you got the Lord, you're in good hands. You're in good hands. Yeah, better than all state, brother. Better than all state. All state can't keep you, but I know a God that can keep you. They may cut you from their insurance, but He won't cut you from His from His assurance. In the Lord, I'm right. God bless you. God bless you. We want to extend this invitation of Christian discipleship. There may be somebody here today that may not have a relationship. Jesus came to deliver you out of your mess, your sin. All of us was entangled in sin. But Jesus came to entangle us, to cleanse us. And there be one today. traveling through for a little while. And we have to leave off the scene one day. Don't leave without accepting Jesus as your Lord and Savior. The Bible plainly tells us Why are you 
got the opportunity to worship him while you're here, you can come with that. Give your life to him. There's nothing or no one else that can save you. I know, I know mama loves us. Say amen. 